there's really nothing like being out in the world. It's just you, your gun, and the elements. You know, it's, it's really nothing really quite like it. So you lay on the ground for a good four or five hours before an animal comes around. And you cock your gun, and aim, and then the animal probably runs off. So then you have to wait another four or five hours for them to come around, you know. And, uh, but you know, once you take that shot, you know it's worth it. Yeah. What makes me so different, though, is, you know, what makes me so different is the kind of game I hunt. People. And it's kind of ironic because my name is Percy Adams, which means hunter of men. Percy Adams, and I am a hunter. Don't point that gun at me. Don't don't point it at the camera either. Sorry. So you go out and hunt people. Yes, yes I do. It's uh, it's really more of a challenge because you know you go out hunting a deer. If it step on a twig, it might notice the sound for like a couple seconds, but it'll go right back to eating its grass or whatever it was doing. You uh, hunt a person, you step on a twig, they notice. And uh, where exactly do you hunt people? Well, the first time I you know, went hunting was at a mall in a department store. Excuse me, sir. You gotta get out of here. You gotta leave. You gotta leave. Go. But, uh, that didn't go so well. So now I usually stick to more unpopulated areas like schools after hours. Suburban areas at night. I think it is a person. Go, 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 go. And you refuse to use guns. Yeah, it's uh it's too inhuman, I think. And really it takes the, the you know, the thrill out of the chase, you know. You can be a good 90 yards away with a gun, you can shoot them, they'll die. You know, we're spawning that. So I, uh, so I use garbage bags. Garbage bags? Yeah. You know, they're a lot more efficient than you'd think. Uh, if you're a good hands-on person like me, you can jump around top of your prey, put the bag over their head, and they'll pass out, you know, 10 seconds. Yeah. And the good thing about it is, uh, really, they're already bagged up, so you just have to, you know, pack up and go home. So, how did this whole thing get started? How did you, uh, get into hunting? Well, at heart, I'm a fisherman. But I got bored of fish, because you really don't really, don't, you don't do any work. You know, you cast the reel, and, uh, you snag a fish. That's really about it. That's, that's why, um, I moved to swimming pools.
police took away my fishing gear and made me do 90 days worth of community service. So I'm never doing that again. And uh, I turned to hunting. I love it. Really do. Would you mind taking us on one of your hunts? What I mind? It's like asking if you wanted to see my Skittles collection. <laughs> So, he'll take us. Yeah. See this guy? About 20 knots over. Knots? Doesn't have something to do with wind? Shh. I'm gonna get him. Back the, get, get back, no, get back. Is that, is that a garbage bag? Look man, I'm just trying to make a movie. You don't want to embarrass me, you know? Yo, do, no, do not come close. Don't turn on me, bro. Don't turn on me, bro. Okay, right. Yo, yo, hit the bricks. Hit the bricks. Don't mess with this. Don't mess with it. You see this? Don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Yo, get the camera out of it. Go, go, shoot. Come on, get out of here. Go. It's all right, he's got rabies anyway. He's gonna die. That's why you're so hostile, you know? You don't want that. You don't want rabies. No rabies, no babies. That's my motto. I live by it. Let's keep going. You're gonna cut that out, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. All right. Yeah. This is perfect. Five and a half foot Caucasian male, alone in the hallway. Completely unsuspecting. Let's go for the kill. See, then you get him just like this for just a second, he's out like a light. You okay? Yeah, dude, I just need, I need a second. <laughs> That's how you snap the trap. What do you do once you've captured them? You don't eat them, do you? What? No, no. See, no, you don't think I'm a psycho, do you? You know, I just, you know, I just auction them off. I'd like to offer this young chap here for a starting bid of $100. Do I hear $80? Fifty dollars. Twenty dollars. Going once. Going twice. At least I used to auction them off. Until... Until what? Until they caught me. Sold to the man in the back. He got him. I get to rot in jail. That's really sad because, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the love of the sport. You are aware that the charges being brought against you are for assault, uh, human trafficking, and kidnapping, all of which you are guilty of, right? Seriously, man, I mean, I was doing what I loved. You know, what's wrong with a little bit of diversity, you know? I mean, Whatever happened to that? Oh wait, I'll answer that for you. Society threw it out the window. That's what happened. It's sickening. So, how did this experience affect you? It, it changed me. It really did. I mean, people like this are the downfall of this world, and I've set out to change that. Other victims of the human hunter, Percy Adams, and myself have come together to create a therapeutic organization where guys can talk about how being kidnapped and sold into slavery changed their lives. It really is a touching movement. Do you remember any of the ordeal? 
Oh, just just vaguely. I was in and out of consciousness during the whole time. You know you were only sold for twenty dollars. Right, right. How did that make you feel? Well, twenty dollars, man. I mean, it really degrades you as a human being. Like, all, all I'm worth is twenty dollars. Makes me want to cry. I think the whole thing is ridiculous. I was just doing what I loved. You know, there's no need for the backlash. I'm not a murderer, I'm not a cannibal. As long as I'm neither one of those things, you know, what's wrong with it? Shortly after the making of this video, Percy Adams escaped custody. He is one of the world's most wanted criminals and faces charges of assault, kidnapping, and human trafficking. Please dial 732-3267 if you see this face. Party in the pants. Party in the pants.